Hey Gillikins, what's kicking? So you guys know the drill by now. On the last episode of Pokemon, I asked you to guess who this Pokemon was, and I can reveal that the answer was, of course, Sea King. Heck yeah, Sea King. There we go. So here we are. We've made it to Geosenge Town. We got through Route 10 with all the weird stones, and now there's even more stones. Awesome. So let's check out what this town has to offer. Ah, uh, ooh, who's this? Another member of Team Flare. Geosens Town is the town of stones. Musical note. <laughs> okay, that guy seems quite happy and cheery. He pointed out that Geosens Town has a lot of stones. We've gathered that. Look at all this Stonehenge-style motif. I have no idea what that's all about. Where did he go, actually? We should probably follow him. We are trying to stop Team Flare. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, what's this thing? Like a monument in the middle. These ancient stones are said to emit a mysterious power. Okay. So, oh, I just saw him up there. The Team Flare guy's up there. How do we get up there? Do we go around here? This is the way he went. Here we go. I'll get you, Team Flare person guy. Hear this, Pipsqueak. Team Flare is going to use the stones on Route 10 and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds really good. In this world, the ones who have power are the ones who win with Flare. Okay, that's a bit more creepy. Uh, bye, then. He just wanted to make people happy. That's a noble cause. Oh, hey, it's Callum. I haven't seen you in ages, dude. Zoe Pro, was someone from Team Flare here just now? Yeah, he was literally just standing there. Did you not see him? You said he was here, but he isn't anymore, is he? There's only a dead end up ahead. I wonder where that Team Flare guy went. Okay. Nice talking to you too, Callum. I, I thought we were friends. Where did he go? He said it's a dead end up ahead. That can't be right. Yeah, it is right. It's just a giant rock. Um, an ancient artifact, maybe? I have no idea. He's just disappeared. That's crazy. Okay. Well, I won't worry about it too much for now, but rest assured, if we do encounter any more Team Flare dudes, we will kick their butt. So, here we are in Geosenge Town. I have no idea what this town has to offer. It's mostly just a bunch of stones, it seems. Can we go in any of these houses? Let's go in this one. Hello, sir. I'm here for no real reason. <laughs> Someone wandering for 3,000 years trying to find a Pokemon. I've heard a story about a man like that, but you can't believe everything you hear. Okay. So there's a man that walked for 3,000 years. Just like that Proclaimers song. <laughs> um, <coughs> let's carry on exploring. There are no other houses that I can go inside. Good, that was Geosenge Town. We got a photo spot. We can mark us reaching this town. I think we do that. We mark every new location in our journey. So here we go. Hey, Phil. I just want a new photo. That's cool. Next stage of our journey. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. Right in front of the monument. Can we zoom in on that? Can we zoom in on the monument a bit? That'd be good. Here we go. Yeah, get that get that more in focus, Phil. More in focus. Bit more. F bit more focus. There we go. That's nice. Zoom in a bit. That, that's out. Zoom that 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 backwards. Um, let's let's focus on the monument now, F Phil. Uh, 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 yay! <laughs> Next stage of our journey has been marked. That's a great photo, Phil. That was just that's just a terrific photo. Thank you for that. You can have a tip of a hundred for that one. That was that's fine. Um, let's carry on. I think we are done with Geosynth Town. There didn't seem to be a gym or anything, but it was just a bunch of houses that I couldn't go inside. Let's follow the road. Lucario, what are you doing? Lucario? Oh, it's that person that we saw before who I know who it is and haven't forgotten. Hey, you're that trainer from Move 5! I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying it wants to battle with you. Would you battle with us? So, I have two Lucario, but do you know which one is the one that has taken a shine to you? Okay, here we go. So that Lucario that took a shine to us way back on Route 5 has followed us. Bit creepy, but we're all with it. Leader Karina. Here we go. So we've got two Lucario. We can take that out with a fighting move, probably. Here we go. Shoe's in the lead now. He's our mascot. He's the one that's going to kick Lucario butt. I couldn't turn that name into a butt joke. Roll out. Here we go. 
Ouch. That looked painful. And now he has raised his attack. But that's fine. You're tanky. There we go. Smash his face. Good. That's a nice critical hit there. That was... That was really good. That... My health didn't go down at all, Sue. I don't... Um... <laughs> Stop using rollout. I... Abandon rollout. Abandon rock. Uh... We... Um... Oh, dear. Oh, wow, you avoided the move, though. That's cool. Okay, stop. Stop rocking. Stop rocking, please. Stop rocking and rolling. Just... Okay, carry on avoiding the attacks, though. That's fine. Oh, this is incredibly messy. Um... Oh, that was a better hit, though. That was cool. Nice critical hit. Now, you're going to stop rolling now, right? Okay, carry on avoiding. That's good. Strange that you're avoiding so much, but... Okay, that's much better. You might actually take it out with a rollout somehow. Um, okay, switch to a needle arm. Avoid that attack too. Uh, you didn't avoid that one. But that's fine. It shouldn't do anything. It just reduced your defense. That's good. That was a bit better. You're not actually very effective against Lucario's, but I wanted to get you out on the front of the team. And I didn't know that the next thing we'd fight would be a Lucario. So, there we go. You got level 28 at least. But we're going to switch in for someone that is actually super effective. That would be useful. Chip away. What does this do? A normal move. 70. Target stat changes don't affect the damage. Well, that seems... Oh, well, that makes him flinch. Oh, gosh. I just don't know. I think we'll keep what we got. We'll keep headbutt. There we go. I feel like I'm abandoning too many moves that could be really good, but whatever. We're wrong with what you got. It's working so far. We're going to switch now for a fire move so we can actually burn. Here we go. Bird face. Good job though, Shu. That was really good. The rollout kind of worked in a strange way. Okay, use an ember. Look out for the swords that are just dancing around. Yep. Um, good! <laughs> See, that's much better. That's super effective. I knew you could do it. Oh, you burnt it too. That's really cool. Good job. You might be able to take it out with one more ember then, and then the burn damage should take care of the rest. Here we go. Ah! It did a thing. It moved and stuff. Nice. And then the burn should get it, maybe? Heck yeah! Good job, birdface. That was much better. Loads of XP too. Awesome job. That was Leader Karina. N not even my ultra powerful Lucario duo could stand up to you. There we go. 8,000 Poké Dollars. Okay, now I get it. I see why Lucario likes you so much. So, do you remember that I'm the gym leader in Shallow City? Once you get past the cave just beyond here, You'll be there, so stop by and say hello. Awesome, that was the gym leader of Shalua City. Shalua, Shalua City. So I guess that's where we're heading next. We're on the road to Shalua City. There we go. Lucario. More like Lucari owned. <laughs> uh, how do I get that thing? Okay, never mind. There's lots of trainers here. We just walked straight past two of them. There's another one there. We just walked straight past her. I'm not sure that's a good thing to do. Ooh, a hollow clip. Ooh, it's a professor. Hello there. It looks like you've almost made it to Shallow City. That's fantastic. It looks like your journey with your Pokemon around the Kalos region is going swimmingly. I wanted to tell you about a person in Shallow City who knows a great deal about Mega Evolution. People call him the Mega Evolution Guru. It would have been useful to know that before. That's probably where we should have gone. <laughs> I've told everyone else about him, so if you have a second, you should give him a visit. Bye! Still quite creepy that people can just randomly pop up and see me at any moment. Um. Okay, there's two trainers there. Am I thinking this could be a double battle? Who have we got in front? Shu and Zoe Zoja. <laughs> Good, we're going with that, actually. Those are my two favourites. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. The rest of the team are awesome, too. But those guys have a special place in my heart. Here we go. Double battle time. 
They're talking and saying grunt noises. Yeah. <laughs> brains and brawn, Frank and Sly. <laughs> okay, who's the brains of the operation here? Mr. Mime, probably. And the brawn would be... That's creepy. I forgot how creepy Mr. Mime was. Especially in 3D. That's something. <laughs> so Zoe 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 Jr. You have the ghost move. So you are going to take out the Mr. Mime. Whereas Shu, you are going to take out the Machoke with a try and needle arm. Actually seed it first. That will be good. There we go. Zoe Zoe Zoe. Shadow Ball on the Mr. Mime. Here we go. You can do this guys. Oh, that was painful. I'm sorry, Shu. Just hang in there. The leech, the leech seed might help. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Well, they're actually doing significant damage, aren't they? Okay, well, the shadow ball should help. That was good. That was good. Good hit. And then the leech seed will come in. You get back some health, at least, I guess. Not a lot, but... Might be what we need. Okay. Well, I'm actually kind of worried. I'm going to switch you guys out and get some new guys in. We've got the leech seed in. That's good. We use Bub now. Here we go. Wow, this is a bit more intense than I thought it would be. And we're going to switch you out for... Let's get Birdface in. That would be really good against the Machoke. Here we go. we got Bub with the dark move for the Mr. Mime. And we've got Birdface for the Machoke. So this should be good. Good job there, guys. That was good. Some good effort. You did a decent chunk of damage and you seeded that guy, so that's good. Right, here we go. Yeah, you can take that. Ooh! Ooh, that did... <laughs> significant damage, actually. Um, roll with it. Roll with it. Oh, with the seed and the rocky helmet, though, that's getting a lot of your health back and damaging them, so that's good. Okay, now this time, use a Bite on the Mr. Mime for the super effective damage, and use an Aerial Ace on the Machoke for the same reason. Here we go. Much better. Good job. And then the Leech Seed should take care of him. And then if you can just tank, tank the side Beam. Oh no, Birdface, I'm sorry. You did your best though. You landed that really critical hit on that Machoke. We needed that. Ooh. Okay, well the match oak fainted due to the rocky helmet, and then hopefully your bite would take care of the Mr. Mime bub. Come on, do this for Birdface, you can do it. You leveled up, that's awesome. Shoe two. <laughs> that rhymed. Okay, right, here we go. Bub, bite it. Okay, oh no, I forgot. Mr. Mime is now part fairy. That would have been useful to remember. <laughs> so dark types do less damage to fairies but because it was super effective against the psychic type it just does normal damage so we know that now so what you're gonna do is what's going on why do I have to switch now oh right I have to bring in a second one because birdface fainted there you go teep you'll get a bit of xp so we're still learning how the fairy type works. It's shooken up the battle system quite a bit, but we're getting the hang of it, I think. At least we know why that wasn't super effective. I'm smart now. Oh, you've got bite attack too. These won't be super effective, but it should be enough to finish it off. Oh, wow. That Mr. Mime took out quite a lot of my dudes. That's not cool. Payback, Teep. That's the stuff. <laughs> Oh, those things look incredibly creepy. At least all my dudes are leveling up. We should hit 30 pretty soon, and I think then we'll be ready for that Karina person. There we go. We got rid of him. That was intense. That was crazy. Hopefully there's a healer around here. That would be very, very useful. Maybe this guy? There are sure are a lot of mysterious stones in the Kalos region. Yeah, look at these things. They're all, like, shiny and almost rainbowy. They're actually quite cool. Reflection cave. Okay, we're going into a cave. Half my team is actually kind of taking quite a bit of damage here. Um, I guess I should heal them up. Maybe we'll just head straight back to the town and heal up. And then next episode, we'll actually take on the reflection cave. That was messy. That double trainer battle was something quite intense. We should really do quite a bit of training, actually. Which reminds me, 
we have this whole super training system at the bottom. And we got Zoe Zozo Jr. ready with a punching bag. I am just going to quickly show this off. And this is basically how we will be training our Pokemon in the future. To give them the hidden effort value stats. Which will be very, very useful later on. So just quickly, we're going to a little bit of a game here. Special training for your Pokemon. Time to experience super training. So I definitely need to do a lot of this super training before we head to the Reflection Cave, I think. And definitely before we face that next leader. So... Here we go, epic training montage with all of my Pokemon. Boom! Super training tutorial! Okay, that's less awesome. It should have been a cooler name, like Super Training Punch Out 9000. But we'll do the tutorial. We'll start off slow. Practice against Scatterbug. Here we go. Okay, it's a Scatterbug, but it's blue. Oh, it's a balloon! That makes more sense. Come on, Zoe Zozo Jr. I believe in you. Right in front of you, that giant right there, is a balloon bot. Okay, hit the goals before you get hit. Okay, here we go. We have to aim for the white goals that appear in front of the balloon bots and shoot like mad. Good luck. It's time to work out. So we aim on the bottom screen. There we go. Good. We got 10 points. We move it around by using the touch screen and then let go and press it again when we want to actually shoot. So we have to aim for all these nets. That was in the same place. Oh, it moved. Ah, get that thing away from me. There was a giant football. Okay, there we go. And we just need four more points. Get it in that goal. And done! That was your first bit of training in... I was, I was going to call you Igglybuff again, I don't know why. You're a Jigglypuff, it's obvious. We took out the Scatterbug Balloon. Training success! There we go. You have got four extra defense stats, Jigglypuff. You can tank a bit more hits now. So there we go. You did it! That's the spirit. Your Pokemon are definitely stronger than they were before, thanks to all that hard work. Good hustle! Fine workout! Thanks, sport. <laughs> so we are basically raising our Pokemon's base stats and making them stronger than before. We can raise their attack and their defense and everything, basically. Make them faster, too. So I am going to be doing this in the break before the next episode. And hopefully then we'll actually be able to take on double battles and stuff like that. Because we're not doing so great. But one day, I will be the champion of the Kalos region. Thanks for watching, you guys. You're awesome. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. Who's that Pokemon on the screen right there that I've drawn? Who is it? I don't know. I've forgotten. You'll have to tell me. And then we'll find out next time. <laughs>